I recently had a conversation with a friend over coffee and one of the suggestions that he had when it comes to putting out content in the present, which is the video that you're watching, is to share at least simple tips before getting a credit card or how many credit cards should I have? Tip number one, consider the annual fee. Credit card companies market their credit cards in a way that they're going to say, there is no annual fee. Is that true? Yes, but you have to consider that there is a monthly fee. So instead of having an annual fee, they just divide it by 12 and then there you go. You have the monthly fee. The question is, can you waive it? You just have to comply with their terms and yes, you can, you can waive the annual fee if you just spend like a specific amount that they ask for. So the, when you have more credit cards, the more annual fees that you have to pay. Tip number two. So imagine that you're a father and then you have a supportive wife and two adorable children. When you have that kind of lifestyle, you probably spend a minimum of 10,000 pesos every month just to have a comfortable life and you can provide to your family. With a credit card, you can actually maximize their promos. You can cut your expenses because of the promos. For example, spend 5,000 pesos and you're going to get 500 GC in the grocery store. So instead of spending 5,000 pesos, you now have 5,500 worth of grocery items that can be used by your family. And so we also have to understand that most credit card companies or most banks, they tied it up with the establishment under the same company holdings. For example, BDO, they usually spend promos or they usually have marketing promos in aligned, alignment with SM. Like you spend something with this using this credit card and then you have a GC in SM department store or grocery store. Tip number three, faster transactions. If you're the type of person who likes to buy stuff online, then you may consider buying or like getting a credit card, not buying, because you cannot scan your cash as a proof that the payment has been made. The credit card is there for you to do online transactions, but what if you don't buy stuff online, you pay stuff online, like Globe and your electric bill or your water bill. That is one of the most convenient ways that you can do because instead of going to the store, like each store, line up and then pay for it, you just have to go online, pay all of them, and then go to the payment center and pay that credit card. So it saves you time and it is less stress for you.